here we have a type definition for our GraphQL schema. We are building the schema and we are printing this to the console. If we run the command to print this, we'll see that we have the printed schema in the schema language format. This is pretty standard. However, what if we wanted to take these type definitions and save them to their own file? We'll install the GraphQL tools load package and the GraphQL tools GraphQL file loader packages so we can do this. Next, let's create the file schema.graphql. You can call this whatever you like. Inside of here, we'll paste those same type definitions that we had inside of the index.js file. Then we'll need to go ahead and require or import the load schema sync function from GraphQL tools load and the GraphQL file loader from the GraphQL file loader package. Then where we have our type definitions, we can simply replace the declaration for those and call the function load schema sync. This takes in two arguments. First will be the pointer to the schema and then any additional options, such as the loaders that we want to run against the files in the pointers. So we'll pass schema.graphql to the first argument and then the second object will pass the options with the array for the loaders and we'll pass in that new GraphQL file loader instance. Then we can go ahead and remove where we are building that schema and we can simply update the console to print the schema for the type definitions. If we run the same command as we did before, we can see nothing has changed. The schema is being printed to the console. Now let's take it a step further and we'll split the review type into its own file as well. So we'll create the file review.graphql and we'll move the contents of that inside of there. Then inside of schema.graphql, we can use a comment to import that review type from the file review.graphql. Again, if we run that same command, nothing has changed. We have those types logged to the console. But what if we want to just import everything that was a GraphQL file? Let's remove the import comment and we'll update the first argument where we call load schema sync and we'll pass in a glob here to fetch all files inside of all folders that end with the file extension .graphql. Then if we run that same command, we have those type definitions returned to us as we have in every other example. You can then go on to use this type definition to make a executable schema for your GraphQL server and we'll learn about that in another video.